So hey guys, we're ready again here from Skype and uh, whenever you see us out there, Maliko da Green, we are not doing the video back in the office, you know we are going to do a demo. And uh, today we have a, a surface pump, a DC surface pump. So there's a solar surface pump, meaning it's not like being submerged into water, it's just for the surface. Eh? Uh, we have done a video of the submersible solar pump. You guys can watch that one. And uh, it's a little bit of a demo. Maybe there's somebody who thinks that Hakuna uh, Pump is solar, or maybe to keep informed uh, our viewers, our customers on upcoming technology. Eh? And uh, maybe a while back you couldn't see such such a pump, but right now it's a mob, it's a kazi mob. And uh, it's about time maybe we showcase it. And yeah, as we continue with the uh, reviews of everything that is on Skyview.co.k. So, this is, a, this is a solar pump, the surface pump. As you can see from here, it's 24 volts. So you can find others for 12 volts, 48 volts. I haven't seen 36, but it's 72. I've seen 72 volts. It's a really simple, simple pump. That's all you get from the box, the pump itself. And uh, some connectors over here. This is uh, like a sieve. Eh? Remember these pumps usually very sensitive for? They are, they are supposed to be for clean water. So the, the water is not supposed to be having any residues or debris or something like that. So you get the connectors. Uh, it's actually one inch. Uh, the size is one inch, but you can always maybe have reducers and all that too. To try and uh, get it to the, to the size that you want. And I'm just going to do a simple demo about the pump. The pump can be connected using uh, the pump can be connected to solar directly, but I on the day of the shooting of this particular video, the sun decided to go home. So unfortunately, we're going to be using batteries, but they're also DC batteries, so there would be no maybe confusion on that. And I'm not using very sophisticated kind of method of. My plumbing, eh? <laughs> it's not all that sophisticated. I'm just doing a simple demo. I'm basically going to use these these hose pipes. I'm not going to use uh, sophisticated plumbing methods or mechanisms. And remember, these pumps are usually very sensitive to water. But uh, since this is clean water, I know it has it doesn't have any residues. I've put it inside myself. I'm not going to use. Uh, the sieve over there. So the pump, the pump might shake a little bit, although this kind of pump is not all that loud, so it won't shake that much. But I will maybe hold it down just in case it will be all that loud. Uh, it will be all that shaky. So guys, I'll be putting the water back in since we don't have like a lot of water to to use. But that should be enough for the demo. I have uh, two batteries, 100 amperes each, uh, wired in series to give me the 24 volts that I need to power uh, my pump over here. And uh, I'm just going to do it. So guys, here is where I usually give all the disclaimers that I can be able to give. You should always be very careful when you are wiring DC because it's direct current. Uh, so as not to miss the polarities of the connections. Eh? So guys, uh, my 24 volts are in, and I'm just going to connect it and uh, see how the pump works. I think that's it for the demo for the surface pump. The DC surface pump and as you can see it's quite quite good and uh, the pressure is quite quite good so this is a good pump maybe for irrigation you can use it maybe for your own uh, domestic use but not that we are using uh, battery packs and battery packs can be used as a as a backup but you can connect it directly with with your solar panel without need of using batteries eh? So guys, you can connect both the submersible pump and the 
surface pump a solar panel like this one directly uh, you just have to check the voltage from the from your panel and also the voltage of the uh, the, 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 the pump that you're using and you can connect it directly reducing the cost of the batteries which batteries are a little bit expensive in most cases and uh, since the pumps can be connected directly that reduces the uh, the cost of your, of your system so guys let me try let me see if the sun is black and i'll connect the uh, pump for you guys So guys, as you can see, uh, the pump is directly connected to a solar panel directly without need to use uh, the battery pack. I don't know if you're able to see. I'm connecting the, the cables from the, from the panel directly. So this is also, it's also workable. It's also easier maybe to work with. It reduces the cost for the batteries. Uh, the only downside to this, you can only use it when there's the sunlight but in most cases if you have maybe a, a, a good solar panel it doesn't mean that the sun has to be like shining or bright so that you can get the water it's as easy as that you can get uh, such kind of a panel a good panel and it will be able to work with minimum minimum sunlight eh? and uh, yeah so this is it for the DC surface pump uh, you've seen the connections with the battery without using the battery and uh, maybe when you're using the batteries and the solar uh, When you're using solar batteries, you can easily connect the bat the, the, the panel to the batteries and then you get your power from the batteries So that's also a system that can can use to work. So guys, that's it for the surface pump See you next time with another video If the video was impactful, kindly give us a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down here and if you like more of our content kindly subscribe over here and don't forget to hit the notification button